I'm Lauren, I'm 14, and I've been like working through the book ever since the start of the year. Um, yeah, good part. Yeah. yeah, and my name's Joanna, I'm Lauren's mum. Um, and I was first referred to Pat by my husband who met her at a networking group. And Pat has basically taught Lauren techniques to deal with the emetophobia that I wasn't able to give her. Um, as a mum, you want to be able to help your child in you know every possible way. Um, and Lauren started with panic attacks and there was nothing that I could do to help her because I didn't understand why or how they were happening. Thanks. You, you, um, when we first talked, Joanna, you were main, mentioning the panic attacks, but you didn't realise that they were linked to a metaphobia. Yeah, I'd never even heard of a metaphobia. I didn't even know it existed. I just knew that there was that Lauren was reacting in social situations in this very frightening way. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, Lauren, how's it been for you working through the um, young, the pure your metaphobia, um, and thrive for young? people well it's like in the long run it's you know really really helped me and i'm com like completely fine now but you know at the start it was like i was optimistic about it and it does get hard because you feel like nothing's happening but you when you stick with it like it counts and it like all get it counts towards your feelings and your like self-esteem and everything and i've come out the other side and much better okay so You've worked very, very hard on on your on daily basis throughout the programme there, and and yes, it's fair to say is it that there was a little bit of doubt in the middle whether you were actually feeling any different at all. So how different do you feel today as compared to back then? I feel a lot more confident, and like I've got a lot more self esteem, um, because of this, and like a lot of things that I wouldn't do back, like for example, like eating certain things now I was and wouldn't even like that now I would have had to. Mm -hmm. Excellent. So what have you noticed that's been different about Lauren? I, I it sounds really dramatic, but I feel ooh, can get upset. Oh, yeah. Okay, do it, do it, go on, get it. <laughs> I feel like I've got my daughter back because before all this I would have always said she was sociable and confident and knew her own mind. And then she went through this phase where or, you know, dates on cans or dates on foods became an issue, certain foods she wouldn't eat. She was um, checking if everything was cooked properly. Um, and so I've got my daughter back, I recognise her again. And I went through a phase where I was starting not to recognise her and not knowing how to get her back. That's amazing. The, what, the whole thing has been amazing. amazing. And it is true to say, I know that when we first started, and you first, Lauren first started going through mm -hmm. the exercises, she was questioning, she was saying, I don't understand how this is going to make me better. You don't understand how bad this is for me. And it, and it was a matter of just being with her and encouraging her, just keep going, just trust that Pat knows what she's doing and trust that it's going to work. Mm -hmm. And that's what you did. Yeah. Brilliant. Well done to both of you, because it's been absolutely brilliant working with the pair of you. We've had some fun along the way as well. Yeah, yeah. Thank you for the laughs. <laughs>, <laughs> and um, all the very, 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 very best for your futures together. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.